Hello and welcome again to my workshop. On the last video I completed the electronic package for this CNC lathe conversion. Um, however I didn't show screwing it all into this box. Well here it is all finished. And it looks fairly, fairly presentable in this box. So the video today is going to be the mechanical part of this uh, CNC conversion for this little SIG lathe. And 800 long. So it's you know, nearly, nearly a yard long. I'm not sure whether I'm going to put it this way around because I can have the motor up there. I probably will have the motor up there so that's the way it's going to go in there like that. And I haven't had this cover off yet so what I'm going to do is start to strip the parts off this that I don't need like um, you know take all the gear cluster out of here, um, take the tail stock off, remove this screw and the bearing holders and um, also take the top slide off and see what we got, what material we got there to connect to uh, to enable us to put this um, this ball screw in. I don't know whether I'm going to run actually in there or whether I'm going to run it uh, along the back here um, we'll, we'll develop it as we go along. So the first thing we're going to remove, I think, I've taken the, um, the drip tray out of the way because I don't want to scratch it because that's all I was doing. Okay, so let's get into here. I'll zoom you in a bit. Try and keep my hands out of the way. This is actually feels like fiberglass. Yeah, it is. Plastic or fiberglass. It's a plastic moulding, actually. Mixture of plastic gears, I think, and also metal ones. So, let's strip these out from here, and so I need a spanner. Okay, let's get some tools. So I think we'll take these gears off here first, uh, this one here I think. to undo that. If I undo that, it should come off.
Okay, so I just cleaned some of the gunk off here. Not all of it, but some of it. Let's Oh, that tool post is up tight. Okay, let's start by taking the tool post off, which comes off fairly easy. Like that. Put that aside. More gunk. Uh, so I want to remove all this structure now. So I think we'll take the and do it from the carriage here. Okay, so to remove this from here, I actually need to take this guard off. I went down some of the screws, just the last cup, last one up here, which will allow that then to the carriage to come free. There's a couple of gears underneath there that's holding it all up together. Um, I probably won't use any of this at all. So now we'll take this drive screw out. A little keyway there. The bearing block here, which we undo. This will probably slide straight out of here actually. I don't think there's anything in there. There shouldn't be anyway. Come in handy. And that's the, the gib. And that's what's on the underside of there. Of course, we're going to be removing this block, and I can see right away. There's no way I'm going to get my, no way in the world I'm going to get my ball screw in there. That isn't going to happen. There's no way in the world that's going to fit in there. There are other means where I can get it in. So I'll design around that. So we'll take this off from here now too. So just slacken off the clamps underneath. There's clamps both sides, so just slacken them off. It's very similar to Gibbs. Underneath there, just larger. And we'll take this off.
Very well machined. Very nicely done. Okay, so. Well, that's the first stage. Um, how to strip a lathe down. And all lathes are virtually the same. It's just, uh, you know, some are bigger than others. So, I've got some, or well, quite a bit of design work to do now. Um, so I'm going to have to, I'm going to need to, I'm going to take that block off there first of all. Now see this, this is a ac ac acne block, acne block, for a acne thread, very fine thread, we'll take this off. So now I've got to work out what is the best place to put that um, zero backlash thread. I'm thinking I'm thinking I might be able to mount it on the on the actual back here. What it would be nice to do, it would be nice to actually mount this zero backlash in there. And I, you know, I dare say there's enough room for me to get this in there, okay. Um, I'd have to make a, a bearing mount this end for it, and also this end. And I would need to, uh, I'm going to take that out of there and I'm going to have a little bit of a look here. Okay, let's take this screw out of here. Just a couple of little Allen screws in here. And that's all that's in these, is that shoulder and the inside of this that determines how much backlash <laughs> there is. Uh, and, you know, there's a small amount of backlash in the thread as well. Minimal, but it is there. So if you wanted to take the backlash out, you have to shim this shoulder here in relation to this casting. <laughs> oh, look at that. That'll nearly fit in there. So, what I have to do is bore that out which I can I can do on my big milling machine over there and that will allow me to run this through the center there that uh, 
you know, I don't have to, I don't think. Uh, I will have to. Yeah, because on here, I've got a couple of bearings. I've got a couple of bearings here that I need to put on this shaft. And I've also got an, uh, I need to make also a thrust washer of brass. Uh, so, and then I can shim it up and uh, take, you know, so there is zero backlash actually on this in relation to the housing. Um, so that will be the bearing going on there. And this needs to come all the way to about here. Actually, maybe a bit more. Yeah, about 40 mil. That's going to be just about the right length, you know. No, I think, um, I don't know. I'll have to work that one out. I'll have to do a little bit of engineering pondering. Um, it would be nice if I could get this in here, machine this out a bit. I might even elect to mount this here somewhere, or even back here, extend this out. or even on the front side. I mean, I could build a shield in over here so I don't get swarf on it. But, nah. Not sure. <coughs> I may, I'm probably actually looking at it now quickly. Um, I'm going to be able to make a housing here and put that bear in there, I'm sure. I don't know. I'll work it out. I don't want to make a, a rush decision. So I think we'll leave this video here at um, a strip down and uh, I'll do some design work and some proper measuring up. Uh, find out the best way to actually put this on here. The X is not going to be a problem at all. That's a straightforward job. I'm going to build a house in here with a standoff bearing and the stepper motor. Easy to put a bearing in this end. I've got the right length. So everything there is fine. Not a problem at all. Um, this one's going to need a little bit of tinkering around with before I start engineering anything with it. Um, it'll be a bit fiddly, but um, it'll be fine. I mean, I'm sort of thinking, I, I really don't want to take any of this material away here. Um, I, I want to keep this as it is, um, you know, which I would have to do, you know, if I was going to put this in, it's just too big. Um, so no, I'm not going to do that. So it's going to mean uh, mounting this screw externally from this, this body, um, probably over the back. I mean, I could do it over the front, but uh, I don't know, I'm going to have to measure it up and toy with some ideas. Maybe even make um, some cardboard templates just to, um, see, and that's always a good thing to do. Some of you may have seen me do that in previous videos a couple of years ago. So um, we'll see. Uh, it's going to be probably a few days before I make another uh, video, probably about uh, Wednesday. It's going to take me a few days to uh, design something up and um, uh, so the, the next video then will be making some of the aluminium, talking about aluminium. I picked this up the other day, two, me two meters 
All right, so it's just over two yards of 12 millimeter by 100 millimeter aluminium. Top grade aluminium. Um, and this is the stuff I normally use to cut all my parts out of on the CNC machine. Um, so I will be using probably the three of my um, CNC machines. The, the little mill, that's very handy, that's one of the reasons I built it. Um, and of course that will do steel parts. Um, I got a 6040 and I got a 6012 over there that um, will carve out aluminium no problem at all. So um, I've got my stock here. I've also got uh, 50 by 50 and uh, 50 by 25. Um, aluminium blocks that, uh, that I normally use for you know making bearing blocks out of. Okay there's some uh, 90 by 90 thick wall aluminium high quality tubing. Now this is getting really heavy even though it's aluminium. This is a 50-50 2 inch by 2 inch square lump of aluminium. That's a, a 50 by 25 aluminium solid bar. These combined with the <clears throat> 12 by 100 bar is going to make the kit to convert this to CNC. I like my kits to be solidly built and of course um, when I have completed the plans they will be available on my Patreon page and while I mention mentioning Patreon page I'd like to put a big thank you out there to my patrons because without them this wouldn't be possible so thank you guys and um, I think we'll call this video now at an end and uh, I've got a fair bit of work in front of me figuring this out. Um, so I'll get busy on my CAD and um, get some drawings up I suppose and uh, do some design work and get this sorted out and the next video will be carving some of these out on the CNC machines and actually making the, the individual parts. Um, now I think it's going to take about four or five videos because I'd like to show you guys absolutely everything. So if you wish, you know, the drawings will be available to you and uh, the, the videos you can follow step by step and I'll show you everything. So. Thank you for joining me for this video and uh, don't forget like, subscribe and uh, if you go along to my channel there's, uh, there's, well I've got two channels now and between the two of them there's over 350 videos uh, on CNC conversions, I've converted a, a mini mill as well, um, wood turning, CNC routing, um, CNC milling. Also, I do quite a bit of laser work now, and of course all the associate, and of course all the associated programs with all these machines, uh, and the CAD systems and the CAM systems, and uh, well, I'm sure you'll find something there that you like. So it's bye for now.